Hi guys, Passive Gaming here. I recently posted a guide on Reddit on my approach to the game. How I aim for sword first, and based on the sword start, I pivot into Ash, Talon, or Jin. Not gonna lie, I haven't been playing much of Jin. And you guys asked me about some videos to explain uh, when I roll down, or how I roll down, how I pivot, what decisions I make, and of course I added some positioning and scouting tips as well. So, without further ado, enjoy the video, there's gonna be lots of, lots of clips and I'll talk you guys through all the clips. So this is, this is the first clip, first game of a, of a tournament, and I decided to start the, start the video here. It's important that you, you notice what I do. I, I get my, my fortune, and now that I have my I cashed out on fortune, I'm crazy rich, or not crazy rich, but I'm relatively fine. So I try to figure out what I'm going to play kind of as my mid-game transition. I, I pick up the Thresh, I put in the Wukong, I Relia, so I have Divine, and I put in Lux. And I, I have an Ash for now because I, I found the Ash. So I have some Hunters. I have like a reasonable board. And now I can, I can sell off other things which I don't need. So I can hit 40. And I think, I think this board is actually strong enough. For now, since I hit the Jinx 2, I will admit I believe I rolled a little bit on 3-2 as soon as I hit 6 because I was playing Fortune and I wanted to start winning. And I knew that if I if I win with Fortune, I can get some of my gold back. So it was it was kind of worth it. Like now my, my gold is relatively okay, like 50 gold. So here I hit Dazzle or Lux. So I might as well pick it up, right? It's not perfect for my for my endgame comp, but it's like okay. I can use her for at least another round or two, and yeah, I think I think it's it's worth it for at least this round. And now with with Lux, the thing is you need to scout, and you want Lux to hit like everyone's comp. So you need to decide whether you want to be on the left or on the right based on like Lux is on the right if they're on the left. So you gotta here I, I the only guy who's on the right and my Lux is on the right, so that's a little unfortunate, but it is how it is. But I mentioned my comp is relatively strong, so still able to get get the W here. So, why did I decide to start the video here? Well, the important thing is, like, I have my locks, and now I, I'm still thinking: Am I going Talon or am I going Ash? Right? I, I'm still not sure. Like, Adept is perfect for both. Ganna's fine. So now, now I have 4 Divine, 2 Hunter, 2 Vanguard. Like, this is still reasonably strong, right? Especially with, with the random 2-star Jinx. Like, might as well have her. Obviously, the items I get here also will kind of help dictate what I try to go. So here I got Talus of Power, and I have a Hand of Justice, and I hit a Talon, right? Since I hit that talent, I just put the talent in over Ash. Just figuring out the uh, divines. Oh, I can put in more divines. Uh, figuring out more more enlightens. And there, that's a, that's like relatively relatively easy pivot. I forgot to make the Hodge on Talon because I had the glove on Warwick, but that's okay. That's fine. Still won the round. So here we get two star Lux. We grab her. And now I need to roll. I need to like find like kind of I missed the pike. I, I think I got upset about that. And I don't have I don't have Shen yet. I'm looking for Shen. But then I realized like with these items, I might as well commit to Talon. And this is when I when I say okay, 
Screw it, I'm committed. Right? Screw it, I'm committed. And that's that's like the first clip. So I got a Morgana of the carousel, I got lucky there. Unfortunately I didn't find no, I don't know, I don't think I don't know this game, but like I, I just got like this is my comp at eight. If that was yeah, I said if that was a mystic Emmy, I would take it. And there we go. I find a Morgana. So this is essentially the same comp I had earlier. And now I'm like, okay, so I I, I want to find I want to find uh, ideally Ezreal, right? Make the comp even even stronger since I have a chosen Dazzler. I might as well put another Dazzler. I think it'll help. You can see that this comp is, is relatively strong and people are starting to die off already. So not, not much happening. I'm completely broke. So I'm just going to dunk you all for, for Ezreal a bit. And after a while, I realized there's no point doing that. So I will stop dunk rolling for Ezreal because it's dumb. And then this is the, the final comp. Uh, some of the people in chat were flaming me that I picked up, that I picked up uh, the Yone with, with Locket on this carousel, but I knew that I would level up and put him in on on uh, six six as soon as I could afford it. So like I spent all of my gold, but I finalized my comp, and I think my comp is relatively strong now, relatively strong. This is something you're aiming for. Like he has four Mystic, we have four Dazzler, three Adept, Enlightened, Divine, Mystic, Assassin, Ninja, Exile, like this is this is this is the comp. And before I was able to put in Yon, I think he, he beat me on, on 6-5. But now I put in Yon, so I think I'm stronger. And there's not much not much I can do here like I'm just I'm just chilling maybe I can upgrade the the Shen that's only thing I can do right now might as well for the Yon don't hit either no big deal That's unique. I didn't know that. I thought I could put both on S0 for more attack speed, but bears. And now we got a sweat positioning. So we see the Ari. We see how exposed the Ari is, and we're a bit confused. But okay, we'll just snipe the Ari. And I think he, he got a bit of a power spike as well, actually, this round, because it's it's more difficult than I first anticipated it would be. But Terran just Talon just snipes the Ari once, snipes the Ari the second time. And yeah, he he types the DG. He knows this is over. He knows that he has no damage. And yeah, takes a little bit longer, but he's just surviving. No damage being dealt. Alan cleans up. And the first. So, second game. Again, um, my board is kind of wonky here. But I, I, I picked, yeah, here I picked up the Morgana from the carousel. Here I'm like, what? You guys left me Morgana with, with Rod? And I was third pick. I'm like, okay, that's insane. Morgana with Rod, third pick. I'll take it. Of course I'll take it. Brilliant. It's brilliant. So. I try to position so that Lux hits a lot of units. Like I mentioned before. Unfortunately, I positioned her in the wrong corner. But look, look at my board compared to his board. I think my board is quite a bit stronger. Except I don't really have a damage dealing carry. Yeah, that was that was the only issue. There was no way no way for me to deal damage here. Oh, but I 
I'm not mad at you. Just support. So it's just my just my support actually doing all the damage. So here I complain about about the uh, Dazzler or the the Moonlight, the Sandra. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Pretty, it's pretty bad. So I put in the I put in the Kenny for one round so that I get I get Ninja Keeper. So that I make the strongest board possible. Uh, this guy is uh, actually even stronger than I am, so not much I can do against him. Especially with that with that nice ZZ. Like ZZ and Morello, every, everyone's brought to the Garen and then he spins, that's pretty strong. Yet somehow this comp almost won. If that had hit, if that had hit, if that had hit, I think I would have won that round. So yeah, he, he got that from Fortune. He got that from Fortune, so I was pinging him. And yeah, so this is me hitting an Irelia, Morgana. I think it's pretty obvious I'm going Talon here. So I just slam items that I can use in the comp. Thinking about Chalice, but I'm like, I might as well slam the stone plate. But I'm, I'm a bit tankier. And now, I, now I'm pretty much committed. I think I'm pretty much committed. And this is just like random, random support units or like not the units in my final comp, but they're, they're working, right? They're working. That's, that's all we care about, right? You got to make sure that it works. Yeah. And then I buy the Morgana, get a Shan. And now it's like, okay, who's my carry? Riven really isn't going to carry those items, right? So we need to roll for the Talon. We hit a Yone, which is amazing as well. So it's essentially about knowing what unit you want, right? And as soon as you hit him, like jackpot. And I think like this, even without the pike for assassin, like this comp, it's just dirty. I don't have the chosen, but it doesn't matter, right? So that's the comp. And then later on 5-1, after I get all my items, I got a random Zephyr. There's another roll down. So I econed up because I was really strong. And now I roll down again. Looking for something I can use. Picking up all four costs, so I increase the chances of getting four costs I want. And I hit a chosen mystic uh, chosen mystic castle, right? Nico the Yone. And now I just try to snipe someone with, with the Zephyr. I managed to snipe someone with the Zephyr. So it's like now it's like either I Zephyr someone or I have the Lux, Lux on them. So it's pretty good, pretty good stuff. And then I realize, okay, that guy going Riven and it's a, uh, I think it's a three star Riven already. There's not much I can do. And here again, I'm I'm okay with my comp. I think my comp is strong enough, so I'm like, okay, I can chill. I have way, like infinite HP, so I chill. So then uh, I'll show you the next rollout. So this was me going to nine, and really trying to win here. So I sold the Casio, right? And I want to look. I want to find a better chosen. Somehow I managed to get another Yon. Which is pretty crazy. I don't find a good chosen. But I just put in I put in the Emperor for more uh, frontline. Now now that I look at it, um, obviously I'm still a noob, I'm still learning as well. Uh, 
I definitely shouldn't have I definitely shouldn't have sold the the chosen mystic against three star riven. That was a huge huge misplay. If I had kept the the chosen mystic, I might have had a better chance against this riven. Might have had. I can't say for sure, but. So yeah, that's, I mean, I have the boss chosen, but still, it's still not good enough. That's a, that's a Riven. So you can watch the final fight. Here's the final fight. I sell the boss. I roll down one more time and I, and here, I finally, I finally put in the pike. But the issue is, the issue, the, the main mistake I make is I don't have the chosen mystic. So I needed chosen mystic or here I needed, I needed uh, chosen Yon or just to hit three Yons. I, I even, I even hit a Nico. So that's quite quite frustrating but it is what it is like you don't decide what the game gives you and yeah so here i should have started rolling yeah you only chose him to be fine here and i don't know why i'm so slow like this is normal speed roll down so i pick up i don't know why i'm picking up the ezreal i actually make the ezreal which is a mistake instead of Instead of getting it instead of getting zillion don't find any owns don't find any chosens but here i get duelist lee sin i'm like hell yeah i'm down for that and yeah i think the sec the second yon over over one star pike would be better and i position i position this relatively well and unfortunately i don't know how this happens oh because of the zephyr I grief myself and here he's about to punch the Riven out. He had like half a second to punch her out, but he got stunned and we lose. So that was like me not like taking out the Mystic was a grief and actually not lifting the Casio and letting her stun my uh, Lee Sin was a grief. So that's the second game. I got second. Now let's get into the third game. Third game, I make even more mistakes. But I get uh, Warwick with Glove from the Carousel, and I had a I had a chosen adept Irelia already, so I uh, decided to run with that for a bit. I'm trying to figure out how to how to make this comp better, but I mean I have Cultist, I have Divine, Vanguard, and Adept, so I think it's strong enough. Again, this is just three three five. But look at all that CC. Like the CC is amazing. Having this much CC, it's just so good. Yeah, and as soon as I hit the Sejuani, I, I, I say to my chat, like, okay, she's gonna be there for a while. Definitely gonna be there for a while. Yeah. Not selling her. Not selling her anytime soon. She has three seconds stun, two hundred damage. I mean, the damage is kind of irrelevant, but the stun is the stun is amazing. And I scout, and I still believe I'm strongest in the lobby, as of right now. So yeah, this is this is my board. Like, it's not amazing. And as I mentioned, I I, I don't think sharps are, are the way. I think it's it's always uh, hunters or talon. We can skip through this. I get some items, right? Okay, so here, I hit an ash, right? That's instantly going in with those items. Morello Slam, of course. And I have a spare glove. And I'm just level 6, so I need to go to 7. I can put in the, the Pony for Vanguard, as well as the Bear for Elderwood. 
So I think I'm relatively strong right now. And yeah. So this is my board on seven. And honestly, I believe I believe it's strong enough to go eight. That's that's what you also like. That's something you you kind of have to judge. Like you have to see, okay, is this board winning? Look at other boards, and if your board is winning, if your board is winning, if your board is strong enough, uh, you can go to eight. Like you don't have to you don't have to roll anymore. That that's like that's the big decision between like between uh, taking a, a first or just a top four. Like I want to go for first here, so. I poise for, for first, and I do that by keeping as much gold as I can. Like this guy is rolling for uh, Kindred 3. He has good items for Kindred 3, but I don't know why he hasn't slammed the RFC either. Like he's he's greeting items. He has too many items on his bench. He has no gold, no HP. Like he's playing for bottom, I don't know, bottom six, seven, something like that. Like he's not going to get very far. And that guy hasn't hit either yet, so that's good for me. Now he hit the three-star standard. Now it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, now I realize, oh no, this guy cannot beat. So next roll down. Next roll down is on five two. I get to eight. And I have uh, very good, very good ash items. Now this this I want to show you like the whole stage because I make a lot of mistakes here, and I think it's a good learning experience for everyone. So, Adept might be better over Elderwood. I'm not entirely sure. There was no need to sell the, the Nunu. If I two-star the Nunu, he goes back in over Shen. That's one thing I got to keep in mind. And uh, maybe you find that the biggest weakness of my board, and the biggest weakness of my board is a one-star Ash. So I, I win this round. I do win this round. I'm happy about that. But I just have I still have a one star ash. So what I should do now, and I didn't do it. I'm at 63 HP, right? I'm at 63 HP and I didn't roll for ash. Like I got a like I hit an Ezreal, that's that's cool. So I, I get even weaker by taking out uh, Warwick potentially, like it's debatable whether I get weaker or not. But I get Elderwood back in. Um I, I wanted to take the, the item off anyway, but the fact that I don't have 2-star Ash is griefing me just so, so, so much. Especially with those items. If she had, if she had, um... If she had Deathblade, then it could be potentially okay. But with, with Last Whisper and IE, like, Kindred is doing way more damage than Ash. Kindred has just the Adam Justice. And this is like me not being entirely comfortable. I you, you always buy the Lux here. You always buy the Lux because the Lux is going in. And for some reason I buy the boss, which is not entirely bad, but I find the Yone, which is good, so. So I make myself weaker again by uh, putting in one star legendaries. This guy hit the Kindred 3 finally. Oh, good for him. But he, he griefed himself too much. Like, his economy was completely gone. So, that's why he's kind of weak. So, here, obviously, I want the Bramble against the Assassins. But I don't get it. I believe Jay isn't bad either. But it's gone as well. well the, only thing, the only thing left to get... Is uh, yeah, I wanted the I wanted the war mocks as well for Yon, but like the only thing left is the Rage Blade, so I can put it on someone, possibly Yon. Like with the Rage Blade, I should have rolled again and figured out if I get Yon a two star or Ezreal two star, and based on that, I give them the Rage Blade. And like I don't get it, like. This is, I'm way too weak. I'm way too weak for this stage. So I should be rolling a lot more. This makes me, yeah, even weaker. So that's why, 
I just say like I can't do this because it makes me even more weaker. Like I'm already weak, but this makes me even weaker, so I cannot do that. So this guy has two star assassin you own. That's pretty nice. Nice. I mean the the stun from Sejuani was really good, so Ash could kind of kill a few things, but that's that's it. That was 64 HP, now I'm 37, because I didn't roll down for Ash, right? I'm, I'm like, I'm greeting way too much gold here. That, that was a mistake. And yeah, here's the Lux, Lux again, so. But look how weak I am. I have four Adept, but... So I hit the boss too, but I still don't have Ash 2, which is which is the issue because Ash 2 is my main carry, right? So like the important thing is you gotta realize like three starring units is mostly pointless. You just wanna have like two star four cost, three cost, and ideally legendaries. And like two starring the units that actually have items on them should be your highest, highest and utmost priority. Which for some reason I didn't do. And I went from 64 HP to 22. From 64 to 22. Because I was too greedy and I didn't roll for Ash. So please guys. Don't be this greedy. There was actually like. Yes there like I can say maybe I could have gone 9. But the only way I go 9 here. Like the reason I was greeting I was thinking about going 9. But the only way I go, I go to 9 is if I have 2 star Ash. Because I'm way too weak. One star Warwick, one star Ash, one star Shen, one star Lux, one star Ezreal, and one star Yon. I have, I really had two star and boss two star. Like, that's not a end game board. So now I finally realize, oh, you have to roll. So I once I roll and I hit, I hit some things, boom, boom, I finally hit the Ash. And now, now my comp comes online. It took me a while, but I got my shit together. Look at this comp now. Now this makes sense. So that was kind of like uh, a lot of hesitation. So yeah, we can we can finally win. We we won a round. I feel good about that. Like now that I actually put in strong units, I went around. But the, the main issue, the main issue here is the fact that I bled way, way too much HP earlier. From 64 to 22. Like if I had another life to work with, I easily take the lobby. Easily, easily take the lobby. Like if I had one more life. But I was uh, too noob. I was too noob and I didn't roll enough and I had a weak board. So that's kind of unfortunate. And then honestly, like, yeah, this, this happens. And I feel kind of bad about this loss, but it was bound to happen. And I, I, ha I did have one more life to spare. I did have one more life to spare, but it's still like... And now it's like, okay, so now if I lose one, I'm out. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I can buy the Yone. I can buy the Yone here. If I win. Otherwise, it's doomed anyway, so... Not really many options. And I know I'm playing against the assassin player, so I move I move my set back, but he's he's protecting my units more, right? See, he, he taunts everything, so this way, Ash stays relatively safe.
So here, obviously, I need a Yon, so I two-star the Yon. That's like my biggest power spike possible. Thief Cuffs are good, but it's a Yon too. And that guy, like if that guy had gotten it, it would be even worse for me. So you remember, you remember last round? I said I positioned for the assassins, right? So I thought, okay, I played the assassin guy. Now I should be playing this guy. Well, two people died, so it gets reshuffled. So it's like right now it's again a 50-50. I thought I was going to play that guy for sure, but it's a 50-50, so that was my mistake. And I positioned for for the other guy. I positioned for the for the guy uh, with the duelist, not the infiltrators. Uh, not the assassin, sorry. So Diana actually gets in there and does a lot of work killing all my utility units. So I get a little upset. But it is what it is. And the frustrating thing is, I beat this guy. I beat this guy. It was my, my clone playing this guy and I positioned for him and I beat him. So that was a little upsetting. But like the biggest mistake was not rolling down for the Ash earlier. Like uh, had I rolled down for Ash stage 5, who started the Ash? I could have preserved more HP. I could have taken one more loss here. And it's guaranteed second at worst. Maybe even first. So that was like by not preserving enough HP... On stage 5, I died earlier on stage 6. So, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll be thrilled if you guys follow me on Twitch, Path of Gaming. You can join my Discord server, and all the links are in the description. If you have any questions, post them on Reddit, YouTube, Discord, Twitch, wherever you want. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, guys.